Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia. If you're new here, today's video is going to be an Amazon video. As you see by the title, you guys know these are some of my favorite videos to do just because I feel like who doesn't love Amazon? I just find the darnest things on there. I just feel like my most recent obsession is watching like those TikTok Amazon items you need videos. I'm just like, that's really cute. I do need that, don't I? What am I going to use it for? I don't know, but I want it anyways. So if you guys want to see what I picked up, just keep on watching. I have everything organized into categories for you guys. So it's giving very organized bay, which I love that for me. If you guys feel like I'm talking super fast in today's video, chances are I probably am. I'm not going to lie. I feel like my personality is on like 10 right now because I had a coffee like five hours ago that is just now kicking in. But without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Alright, so the first things we're gonna get into are kitchen items and I've been super into like redoing the kitchen You guys know I have been doing like more cooking montages in my vlogs and I just was applying pressure to myself I was like no, I need new this I need new this I need everything to match if I'm gonna be doing this and now I'm committed now I'm in it to win it so <laughs> I bought a lot of stuff. So the first things that I bought are for the countertop and these are, <laughs> and these are, and they are these black jars right here. These are just the cutest little things ever. If you guys watch the vlogs, you guys know they match the paper towel holder, they match the bread box. So I really, really like these. I like these because they're also like, not airtight where you can like store loose foods in it, but airtight enough that you can have like some things in here. So in mine, I have like my little Asian candies. I should eat one, but then you guys are gonna hear it in my mouth. Um, but I like the sizes of these. I feel like they're big enough, but they're not huge. Like they're not ginormous. Um, so they definitely serve their purpose for me in my house. So really, really like these because they definitely match my current aesthetic. It might not be my aesthetic in like a year from now, but it's okay because they were affordable. I mean, like, <laughs> I saved some money. They came to like my door in like a day and a half because I'm a Prime member, so you know, it's a win-win for me, okay? Next <laughs> up, so I have this like smoothie cup. Boy, this is what I drink. My smoothies out of my protein shakes and it's just like this bamboo lid tumbler s with like a plastic, not a plastic, a silicone sleeve. I don't know, I just like it because like the straw is really big. So again, when I make like my protein shakes or my smoothies or anything, this is just like the perfect cup for me to drink it out of um, that way. It's just easy to go. If I have to drive somewhere, it could go with me. But I like this one again because it just matches everything. I just, I cannot. Amazon just has everything you need, which I really, really love. But again, super, super cute. It serves its purpose for me. And this goes right alongside on my countertop next to my blender, which I'm going to show you guys next. Brace yourselves because this is the most beautiful blender you've ever seen in your life i promise you so next up i have my beast blender and she is just gorgeous listen i'm not one that uses blenders often i'm not gonna lie to you guys when i was making my protein shakes i have one of the like single serve the blender version thing from amazon which was really really great it served this purpose for me it was easy to use because i could drink directly from that cup but i saw this and i was like i don't know what i'm blending i don't know what i need a blender for but i'm gonna be blending today and i picked this up she's definitely a splurgy item for a blender but she's gorgeous like absolutely beautiful when i posted this everyone i knew went and purchased one because it's just the cutest thing ever it comes in a couple colors as well i just opted for black because i feel like it just was super super timeless it looks really nice on the countertops which i like as well like it's not an eyesore or something you want to hide away in your cabinets but it's super nice because you just twist the top off and then you have this and it comes with like other attachments so that like you could put a lid on it with the handle if you're like going out the house or something or you bring your lunch with you to work um it has a smaller blending thing so i just feel like i just needed this and i'm not mad at it it is definitely one of my best purchases we also use this for enzo's baby food so some baby foods that are like a little too chunky for him or i just feel like they're not the smoothest in texture i pop them in here boom we're good to go it purees it perfectly every single time next up i have eating utensils and these are just things that you know you just overlook sometimes um and i just feel like when you have pretty ones they just make all the difference especially things that are just also practical too so for silverware for like everyday eating like sport forks sporks what is going this coffee has me acting like a lunatic oh my gosh but i have um this little set right here so this is gold with like white on it it's just really really nice you guys know all of my plates and stuff are white or they also have gold trim so it just is a whole vibe all the way across the board so i like this spoon because like it's wider i don't know if you guys know it's not like shaped like your traditional spoon um and then has this fork it also comes with like a smaller fork that i didn't bring out because i mean how many forks can i show you guys and then this is like the little butter knife so it's just super chic and cute it just is a Oh my gosh, you're so fancy, but it's literally 
it's a cutlery set, you know, but it's just an elevated cutlery set. And then I also have some chopsticks from Amazon. I recently started eating noodles again all the time. Like, I feel like I go through phases in my life, but noodles are one thing you cannot take from me. Um, and I just feel like when you eat noodles with chopsticks, they taste 20 times better i don't know what it is um if you guys agree let me know but i feel like foods that are chopstick friendly it just makes them taste better i don't know so i picked up this little set it came in like more um pastel colors so like purple pink and blues but now that i have been enjoying these so much and i forgot how beneficial it is to have chopstick in your house i feel like i need some black ones so if you guys see me pick up some black chopsticks or like some marble ones just know <laughs> It had to match the vibe and these had to go but for right now these are definitely serving the purpose i like the quality of these they're just really, really cute if you like colorful things though they're really nice um i just was trying to remember if i knew how to use chopsticks but now that i know i do i need some better ones if you guys hear all this noise in the background you guys know i'm filming in a new space i'm now filming like in the main area of the house so harper is just loud enzo's loud it's just a lot going on but hey it's what happens when you have kids so it's whatever but the next thing that i have is a spoon and this spoon just takes me back to my childhood i don't know what these are called I just know that every Asian person has these in their house and I call them soup spoons. I don't know if they're called that, um, but I feel like these are just hand in hand with chopsticks because you just put your noodles in the spoon, you put some juice in and then you get a bite of everything at one time. And it's literally like the most perfect thing for noodles, soups, cereals, even because that way you get some milk and some cereal in at the same time. These are all the little details that matter in adulting, okay? When you just wanna enjoy your food. If you had a baby recently like me, you know the importance of enjoying your five minutes to eat. So these have definitely been my, my little favorite things in my household. I just been loving these. these. It also just reminds me of like my childhood with my uh, my, my, yay, my grandma and stuff. Cause this was just a staple in our household. And then recently I was like, I bet you I could find it on Amazon. And I definitely did. <laughs> Next up, we have drinkware, and I have been obsessed with drinkware. I don't know why, but like one day I opened the cup cabinet, and it just was giving me anxiety. Like nothing matched because things were always constantly breaking, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to redo the cup cabinet. So I picked up all of these, and I am so happy about every single one of them. So the first one that I have here for you are these curved cups, and these are just so, so, so cute. Every single time I post these on my story, my YouTube, everyone is always asking me where my cups are from. Girl, they are from Amazon, or boy, sorry, I don't want to group everybody. <laughs> into a gender girl or boy these are just so cute it's a traditional cup it just has a little curve to it i just feel like it just adds a little spice a little zest to it now this is a little shorter version so super super cute i just like having these i like little different things but the things that are not too different because then i'm just like oh my gosh what is this but these are like the perfect cups of you just want your guests to be like wow this is fancy you know like where'd you get this from girl Amazon. Alongside fancy cups, I have these bear glasses right here. I feel like you guys see these everywhere and I just love them. I love the way they look. I just like how they're shaped. I don't know. I don't drink bear, so I put iced coffee in mine um, or teas or anything like that. But just so, so, so cute. And then alongside them, I use my glass straws. I have the curved ones and the straight ones. Um, I have like three sets of these in my house because I don't ever want to run out of them. Definitely a a content creator thing i think everybody uses these glasses now but they're just so cute and i mean you can't resist them they literally make every drink look better and then next up i have mugs i have been loving me a nice little coffee recently you guys know i go through my phases but i've been enjoying the hell out of some hot coffee and i have these two mug styles to show you and one just look at them they are just and it's, it's an aesthetic it's an aesthetic so this one is a plain like perfect circle mug it's just super super cute this one is like a thinner glass um it is more fragile so definitely be careful with these but this is like my adulting glass this is my i got kids but i'm gonna take 10 minutes to myself glass you know like i just feel like this one just makes me feel like i got my shit together even though i don't but this one right here is also equally as nice it's double insulated so it's gonna keep your drinks hotter or colder it's hotter yeah hotter is a word right it's gonna keep your drinks hot or cold for a longer extended period of time but the best part about these ones that's so cute is once you fill them up you guys won't be able to tell but it, it will make your drink look like it's in the shape of a heart i cannot it's so it's the little things that matter with this type of stuff so the inside of the second wall is shaped like a heart so if you care about those types of things if you want to have you a nice hot chocolate or a nice cup of coffee and just be like you know what it's the little things that really make a difference this is definitely the glass for you Next up for kitchen stuff, I have this set of bowls. I consider these like prep bowls because that's what I'll be using them for. So you guys know I've been doing a lot of like cooking montages in my vlogs and stuff. And I just felt like if that was the type of content that I'm going to be providing from now on, my prep bowl has got to be on 
fire. So I picked up like this really big glass set, obviously from Amazon. I went with these ones because I just liked all the sizes they came in. So as you see, that biggest one is a really nice size for prep. But look at the smallest one, it's a little baby bowl. I die, stop. It's the perfect little bowl for like your seasoning. So like your salt and pepper, or like your paprika or something like that. But I definitely needed a variation of sizes that way when I'm showing you guys my ingredients and stuff. It just was a, a little bit of everything. It didn't seem like a little bit of items were going in a big bowl or like big items were going in a little bowl, if that makes sense. So I definitely enjoyed this set. It was super affordable. I think it was like $35 for all of these, which I feel like is a bargain. And I didn't have to go out and buy it. It got shipped right to my door and I ordered it at five o'clock and it was at my house by eight so that's even better for me these are the things that matter when you're 25 with two kids okay i mean i'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> moving on to more kitchen things because again i just have been obsessed is this ice cube tray i literally it's my favorite thing oh my gosh every time i make my guests a drink they're like asia you are just so dramatic and extra and i'm just like baby i know but i really really like this one because i have a lot of ice cube trays from so many different retailers um like the big circle ones the big square ones just everything you could think of the reason i like this one is because it has a lid that way once i fill it with water i could just put it in the freezer and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about if it's spilling, if it's overflowing or anything like that, which was like my biggest thing with other ones. Like they were nice, but I have a freezer that's like a pull out drawer. So you never know what's gonna happen every time you pull that drawer out. If you have this type of fridge, you know what I'm talking about. Like. Listen, it was in God's hands at that point. So I just knew that those weren't exactly for me. So when I searched for one on Amazon, I was like, this is exactly what I needed. My ice cubes come out perfectly every time. And they're just so cute and dainty. They're like a hexagon shape. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yes, you can because my camera is so good. But they're like a little hexagon shape and then they're flat on the top. And they're just adorable. I could make, um, I could fill up two of the berry glasses with one of these. So, I mean, it does its job for me. It doesn't take long to freeze because they're smaller. And it has like little clips under the lid that secures the lid um, to it, which is really nice. So, again, you just know you're going to get perfect ice cubes every single time. So, I just definitely love this. I just feel like, too, when I just want to make my drink just a little bit more special... This is my girl right here. Next up are the newest items to me. And I just, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Like I said earlier, I have been watching a lot of those TikTok things you need from Amazon videos. And I always were seeing it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. So I picked up this cutting board. But the reason I'm so excited about this cutting board is because, you know, when you cut things, you cut things. I'm sorry. You're chopping your food and you need to, like, transport it to the pot. It could get messy really, really quickly. So this one, once you cut, you could just fold it like this and... The food will go directly into like the bowl, my prep bowls, my pie or anything like that. I feel like this is genius. I cannot believe it took me 25 years to find this, but I am so excited about this one. I just feel like it just makes me excited to chop food. <laughs> I don't know why this is adulting but i really really love this it's just super cute it's just super practical it makes so much sense to me you guys know i'm an aries um i'm very organized and i just fully believe in buying things to make my life that much easier like if it makes my life easy i'm all for it hands down and then next up i have like this drainer i guess you could call it strainer colander whatever you want to call it but this one goes on your sink so it's adjustable so no matter the size of your sink it'll work for you um i just like this one because i feel like when i get home from the supermarket i can just wash all my fruits and my veggies at one time um it also just could sit in the sink like i don't have to worry about it being on the counter and leaking water i really really like this it comes in a lot of colors as well so you obviously not opted for black because of the vibes um but no matter what your decor style is for your kitchen i definitely think this is something to have and then it came like two little extra pieces i don't know what this is i don't know i think this must be like a scrubber for you to wash dishes like you know everything these days is like silicone this silicone that so i think that's what this is and then it also came with one of these things to go in your drain i love these i use these all the time so definitely appreciative that this came in there um but again it just matches and it just catches like bigger chunks of food for you so really really enjoyed this and then the last two things from the kitchen department are baby food from amazon so you guys know i am a die hard fan of amazon fresh i ordered from amazon fresh probably like three times a week i was an avid amazon fresh brownie bite lover until they magically disappeared off the website but that's neither here nor there amazon um, but Enzo also really loves the baby food. This is their Amazon brand. It's called Mama Bear. So it's an organic apple oat cinnamon. And this is a yogurt. Um, he just really, really likes this brand. You guys know, well, if you don't know, if you don't watch my vlogs, I've also tried the Yummy Yumi brand, whatever how it's pronounced, um, and the Little Spoon brand. 
He likes both of them, um, but he doesn't like everything. So he loves everything from this Mama Bear line. So if you haven't tried their baby foods, I definitely suggest you do. But super, super good. So we love these. All right, so moving into tech things. I just have a few little things that I've been using in my life. Um, for the first part is like this tripod. I don't even know what to call this tripod, but I use this when I'm vlogging. And because I always have like the stroller with me now, I just need somewhere that I can just be hands free. That's all I'm about these days it's because I love my job but if I could find a way to make my job even easier it's even better so this little tripod just clamps onto anything I clamp it onto the shopping carts the stroller like I said just anywhere any surface I could think of it it goes there so it's, it's super easy to use I literally just twist the vlog camera into the screw right here it's really really sturdy like it's literally like a sturdy clamp okay um but this has literally been a game changer because before every time i had to vlog and i had the baby with me i just was like i'm getting overwhelmed like having to hold the vlog camera and stuff so having that definitely changed my life so even if you don't have to worry about having a baby with you if you just want somewhere that you could sit your camera on when you're vlogging like in target or stuff that's definitely for you and then i also use for my computer this little usb thing and girl this right here is a game changer so this is the two usb c ports i think that's what it's called um it literally goes into my macbook pro it comes in every color that the macbook pro comes into which is really nice so i feel like it's just like an extension of it like you don't really see it too much it doesn't bother you which is a plus to me because that's what i'm all about but then it has so many different adapters right here so it has the sd card so when i'm editing i just put my sd card into here it has like the smaller sd card memory card i don't know what it's called um two two usb two usb ones a usb c one um, and then, I don't, oh no, that's two USB-Cs. Girl, Apple is just so complicated. I don't know why they just insisted on making our lives complicated and making us spend money. But yeah, so you could like easily plug your computer charger in right here and you just have everything else plugged in all at one time on one side of the computer, which is really, really nice. I just feel like it's easy to use. Oh, and it has an HDMI on this side. So it's just, it's small. It blends in it's pretty it was a little on the more expensive end than other ones they said i believe this was like 30 something dollars too but to me this is definitely worth it i had mine for a really long time it goes in both sides of my computer it works well it lights up when it's plugged in so i just feel like this is a must have i use this on the daily because obviously i'm always on my computer for work and stuff but because i need so many different things plugged into my computer this right here is a game changer all right so this next item is literally the most asked about item in my entire existing of being a content creator of being an influencer and that is this car mount every time i vlog in the car everyone is always like oh my gosh your camera is so sturdy what do you use and it's this thing i don't even remember how i found this thing on amazon i literally searched for hours because i just wanted to make sure if i was going to vlog in the car that my quality was a one top of the line and i definitely do that with this so this just sucks onto the mirror um you literally if i recall correctly you press the button so it sticks out and then when you go like this with this little lever here it suctions it has never fell off while i was vlogging which is really really nice you have full control over the arm i'm not gonna like play with it too much because i don't want to change my settings on it um but then my camera just screws on the top it's super easy for me to use um and then this just makes you be able to adjust the ball right here so i love this thing if you guys record in your car i definitely highly recommend this you could put this anywhere and this is so good you can even use this like on the mirror this has definitely elevated like my vlogging experience and just my quality in general because i feel like my viewers just appreciate the fact that when i'm vlogging <laughs> they can see me i have full control over it so yeah definitely a must if you do this for a job like me <laughs> next thing up for tech are these beats headphones i picked these up really for my peloton um because i just wanted to be like in my zone i wanted to be in my vibe i wanted to just not hear anything but music because i feel like music definitely sets the tone for me when i work out they do make my workout experience even better um i got them in black because my peloton is black obviously pelotons don't come in any other colors why the hell did i say that i don't know but i also use these when i'm editing my videos and stuff because i feel like when i have these in i could just hear everything Thing. like i feel like i just go in my zone and i just get in my editing bag okay i hop in my editing duffel I like all i hear is my creativity coming and it just makes me want to work even better it just makes me just do the damn thing 
all of those really nice vlogs you guys have been seeing that have been so creative, I wore these. I feel like when I just wear my regular old AirPods or I just rely on the speakers, my vlogs don't give what they need to give. And then lastly from tech, I've been using these disposable cameras. These just take me back to my childhood, okay? The kids these days do not know the struggle of not knowing what your photos were going to look like until you got your film processed but i just feel like these photos actually took really nice quality pictures i picked these up on like a three pack on amazon and i just take pictures of the kids every so often like on milestones or holidays it's very nostalgic for those of us that were born before like 1998 because this was definitely all we knew back then there were no iphones okay there were no high quality cameras like this like it was all like this all right, so next up I have self-care items. I don't have many self-care items because honestly, I feel like <laughs> I've purchased everything that you could possibly need for self-care from Amazon. But I do have some things I just really, really enjoy. And the first thing, if you guys have been asking like how I get my curls like this, like this very effortless, just blended, beautiful, breezy curl, girl, you need this brush. Not probably the specific one, but I mean, this is what I use, so I know it works. I can't vouch for everything else on Amazon, but it's called a smoothing brush. It's so funny because when I was growing up, my aunts only had this type of brush, and I just was like, what is that? Like, why do they need that? Oh, girl, I get it now because it just literally smooths your hair so perfectly. So, like, after I curl my hair, I let it cool down. I'm looking in the viewfinder, by the way, if you're like, what are you staring at? Um, I curl my hair, I let it cool, and then I just go over my curls with this brush, and it just blends everything out. It just makes everything so smooth and pretty, and you guys are always asking how I get my hair like this, and girl, it's literally just a brush. I mean, I curl it, but... The brush does all the hard work for me and I just love this. I always wondered how like hairstylists get these types of curls. Mm -hmm. Figured it out and I'm here to teach you and tell you how to do it too. But alongside that, I also picked up this round brush because I recently cut myself some curtain bangs and I felt like I needed a round brush. It's the coffee, y'all. Um, it does the job. It's very, very sturdy. I like the size of it. It's just the perfect size for my curtain bangs. But speaking of curtain bangs, I also picked up this hair razor. I may or may not have went ham with this thing when I was having like a very down moment in my life, but it's okay. It happens to the best of us. Um, so it's literally just a comb with razors in it. And it's how I did my curtain bangs. It's how I put like these little layers in the front to just add like some life to my hair. You guys know I get very bored with my hair very easily. And on the other end is a comb. So I'm not a hairstylist. I don't recommend... I don't know what's going on with me. I don't recommend that you just go at it with your hair on a random day after having a glass of wine like me. But if you have to, I would say pick up a good pair of shears and a comb like that. And then the next thing is so random, but it's one of those things that I always need. And I just was like, what took me so long to get it? It's a suitcase scale. <laughs> I'm literally the most random human I think I know, but I'm always prepared for everything. And this is just one of those things. So literally, you press the power button, you hook this onto whatever you want to weigh, so like your purses, your suitcase or whatever. You lift it up by this, like you hold it like this, and it's going to tell you the weight on here. I'm trying to think, is there anything that I could use this on to show you guys? Probably not. Um, I don't see nothing near me, but I have tried it, and it's just, I'm one of those people, I just tend to overpack. I'm not the strongest person, so everything feels like it's 50 pounds to me, Um, and I just feel like this is a game changer for me. Do you need this? No. Is it nice to have? Yes. Because I definitely feel like we've all been there where like this suitcase is definitely giving 51 pounds. And who is going to pay 100 extra dollars for a pound? Like a pound. Um, so yeah, I just picked this up because I just was tired of being that person and guessing. So do not fret. Fear no more. You have a suitcase scale. <laughs> and next up for self-care is like one of my favorite things. Honestly, um, I follow a girl she posted this and you guys know um, I'm very open about like being very down on myself I don't really celebrate my achievements as much as I should and I'm trying to change those things I give myself credit though because I notice things about me and I do try to change them so I've been having like uh, not the easiest last couple months it's just been things that have been weighing on my mind a lot so this girl posted this book that I follow and I just was like wow like I think I need something like that she sent me the link and I bought it and I had been using it for like the past two months I believe sorry that was not supposed to happen that hard um, but it is like a gratitude book so I'm going to show you guys like a, well the pages this is what they look like for every single day of the entry so 
I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. Come on, camera. So there's a morning meditation page and then the evening reflection page. So like for morning meditation, you date them and it says like today's focus, the affirmation for today, what you're grateful for, what you're excited about today, and how you make space for gratitude today. And then when you do your evening reflection, it does good things to happen today, things I did to make a positive difference, how I felt today. So it has like a bunch of check boxes, happy, content, proud, hopeful, loving, connected, balanced, joyful, relaxed, creative, excited, neutral, insecure, discouraged, drained, sad, scared, angry, annoyed, anxious, stressed, and overwhelmed. Um, and then it has a little notes section and then a positive thought to carry me to sleep. And I feel like this just really put a lot of perspective into my life when I needed it most because those days where I definitely was being really hard on myself, feeling a little bit more down and just really struggling to get myself out of a dark space. Um, having something that really made me think of what I should be grateful for, things that I should really be appreciative for in my life and writing it down, I felt like they refocused me a little bit just to think that, you know, like, you might have spent like the last 12 hours just being like, why me, why me, why me, or I'm just so tired, or I just can't do it. And then when I would go fill in my entry, I just would be like, okay, but like, there's a brighter side to life right now. Um, so I definitely highly recommend, even if you're not going through a dark moment in your life, it's just something that brings things I think that we push to the back or we don't pay much attention to, to the forefront in life, if that makes sense. That got very deep, very quickly, but... I feel very passionately about this book. And to my, to my girl, Marielle, that posted this first, thank you so much, girl, because without you, I wouldn't have had this in my life. And it just definitely made a difference to me. So hopefully it'll make a difference for some of you guys. <laughs> so our next category, I would like to call it like the pandemic baby vibe, stuff like that, because COVID is still a thing. Don't let nobody tell you different. I know, I know, I know. Life has returned to normal just a little bit, um, but I, you know, we still have to wear masks. Do your due diligence, be mindful, respect others, respect yourself most importantly, um, and protect everybody's health, including your own. So I just want to show you guys some of my favorite things that I can't live without. And those are these black masks. And then I also have some white masks. I picked these up in both adults and kids. That way Harper has them as well. Um, I like these because one, let me show you guys. I like these because they come individually packed. So I literally just throw like 10 of these in my purse every single time because masks will disappear. And I just prefer them. They're super sanitary. I just know they're clean they're staying clean in my purse um i don't like using like rewearable ones because i just feel like i don't know even though it's my germs in the inside it just grosses me out so i like these and again the ones for harper come the exact same way in like individually packed packs um but these come in like 10 a pack of 10 that are individually packed within a pack of 10 does that make sense i don't know but yeah, I just keep white ones and black ones. I said that opposite, but it's okay. I just keep black ones and white ones on hand for both of us. They just go with everything. I feel like they make everything look better rather than like your traditional blue medical ones. But super, super good. They're just my favorite ones to have on hand. Um, so yeah, these are a must for me. Like if I don't have these masks in my house, I ain't going nowhere. I hate to say I hope I don't sound crazy, but it's it's the truth. And I also pick up these packs of Clorox wipes from Amazon. These go everywhere with me. I leave them in the car, in my purse, in my stroller, everything. I'm always wiping something down with these daggone wipes. They're literally like the most used thing in my life. Um, I think they come in like a pack of three or four. The little packs are really, really big, so they last a really long time. But I just feel like having disinfecting wipes, you just never know, okay? Like, don't touch your cart without wiping it down. Especially because I have kids, I just wipe everything down. I go to restaurants and I wipe the table down. There's no shame in my game. You could never be too sure these days so i just really like these they smell really great i mean if you like the way cleaning products smell and that is me oh it smells so good but yeah i just keep these around because again i just like to just cross my t's dot my eyes make sure everything's clean so i definitely definitely really love those and then i have a air purifier um i use this when we go out to eat which is not often but it's just, I like to cover my bases, okay? So this is an air purifier. You turn it on. Once it's blinking blue like this, it starts to circulate the air. After about two minutes, it will tell you the air quality of the space you're sitting in. So there have been times that I've turned it on and the air quality was not good. And I was like, I got to get up out of here. There's also settings for like how high or low you want it to be. Um, the battery life on this is really, really nice. It is expensive. It's like $100. But if you have a baby and you just want to really be super, super cautious, I definitely highly recommend um, and then the last thing for my pandemic baby vibes is this little portable fan so it's not really needed right now because it is winter on the east coast um but it's just something that i like using for enzo it's charged right here by a cord so it's not battery operated which is nice and it's really really strong i don't know if you guys could hear that or see that but it's super cute and the arms are bendy so it literally just could be wrapped around any single thing this isn't more so for pandemic things because i don't want to force 
dirty air into anyone's face but this is just nice just to have um i definitely got our use out of it so i just wanted to make sure i also included this as well i just feel like i'm one of those people again i just like to be prepared for everything but also need everything to be pretty like it kind of doesn't make sense the more i think about it but it makes sense to me so it's whatever the last section for today's video is going to be all baby items. You guys know Enzo is a baby still. He's an infant, obviously. Um, and I just feel like we're constantly changing things out, finding new things that interest him and stuff like that. So I'm going to share with you guys my favorite things to have currently. And one of them are these pacifier cases. They don't have to only be used for pacifiers, but that's what I use them for. So they're like bigger ones that I've ever seen, which I really like. They store a lot in here. But on top of that, I also pick up like my pacifier clips from Amazon. They're just super affordable because pacifier clips are so expensive and you can get like these sets that just have like a different style so like there's this beaded one a full-blown material one like a rope one um i just feel like a little bit of something for everybody's taste they come in like really cute colors as well so i usually just store them like in this thing and i just know where they're at all the time that way they're like clean um nothing is touching anything dirty like in the drawers or anything or even a baby bag but yeah i really, really like these they're really nice high quality they store a lot which is nice so i just feel like if you're someone that you do take a lot of pacifiers outside of the house or anything these are nice to have and then alongside that it has nothing to do with that though um is this tummy time pillow i I felt like we had a tummy time pillow but it just wasn't helping him as much as it should have so i picked this one up from amazon and as you can see here i am dropping things as you guys can see it's more elevated than like your traditional one so it definitely helped him like figure out how to lift his head where to have his posture and things like that it's a nice size like it's not small but it's not big either it's like the perfect size for your baby so we really really like this especially when he was doing tummy time consistently and trying to figure out how to move his little body and get motivated and stuff this was definitely our best friend up i have this little toy bar and everyone always asks me about this we put this on our baby bajoran bouncer and the reason i picked this one up from Amazon is because I just was never sold about the baby Bajoran ones. I first of all I thought it was too expensive. Like it just didn't make sense to me why it was so expensive because it wasn't intriguing. I mean I know babies don't mind, they don't have a preference yet, but like I felt like if it was me it would have been boring so i went like searching high and low for like a nice toy bar that was colorful and had stuff that was intriguing and i came across this one and enzo loves this thing it's definitely his favorite toy he literally will play with this for like hours if i let him um once he figured out how to grab everything it was game over for us so i like that you can also take these off like if you want to put them on something else or just hand them to the baby you can but again it's super easy to use it does move how am i going to move this with it in my hand like you could bend it so if you want him to be able to kick it grab it or anything or like put it closer to their face you have full control over which is nice it could go anywhere because these twist so they tighten and get looser so you could put this on a stroller a car seat anything like that which i think it's just is versatile which is really really nice it wasn't super expensive which was great too and again it's colorful but it has like a lot of black and white too because they say that's good for babies so this is definitely one of our favorite things you guys are always asking when i post him in it in the vlog so i just want to make sure i mention this but this is like one of my best purchases as a mom so far because he literally is obsessed with this thing. Next up are more toys. These are like little rattles that go on the baby's wrist. And then they come with socks that have rattles on it too. And it's just so cute. So when Enzo was finally finding his hands and his feet, I just wanted to get him stuff that like would intrigue him a little bit more. So I picked these up and they're just literally the cutest things ever. I just, I cannot with them. Um, and they're just all like different colors and prints and stuff like that. So if you have like a little busy baby body, like a busy baby body, a busy body baby like me, I definitely highly suggest these because it's just something fun for them to do it's not as much as having a toy hanging in their face or stuff like that it's just them using their own body and figuring out like oh that's me making that sound these are just the little things that you just never think to have and then there's someone like me to say you need it <laughs> if you have a baby on the way if you have an infant just get this i promise you you're gonna love it so this is a cart hammock and it is literally just genius like i use this every day since i had it and it's the most mind-blowing thing i've ever purchased so it literally clips onto the cart like this it has two velcro straps under each one to make sure that it's secure um it fits most carts when you read the description on amazon it'll tell you like which carts it doesn't fit he loves this thing he's so comfortable and he has no complaints he sleeps in it and everything it's just super super cute it has a buckle in here to secure the baby but the nice thing about this is that you could put an infant car seat in this so if you're just someone that brings the baby car seat into the store 
you know what it's like to put that in the cart and then you lose all your cart space for your items. I really cannot believe I'm not the person that thought of this because this thing is freaking genius. It comes in so many cute prints as well, which is really nice. Even though someone is having a baby, please give this to them because it's literally just... I, I wish I would have had this from day one because it just would have made like the thought of going out with him a little bit more enjoyable um, instead of giving me anxiety. So... I love this. We Now that we're going Christmas shopping and stuff, it's just so much easier just to be in and out of the stores because all I have to do is take this off the cart and go rather than taking a stroller apart, disassembling it, reassembling it. It just was a whole lot. Like I just didn't like going outside at that point with that stuff. But now, we're back in the game. We're back in the game. Put me back in the game, coach. <laughs> and I think that's it. So I feel like we've been here all day. So I'm just going to shut up. Um, if you guys pick up anything from this haul, let me know. I know it was a little random all over the place, but... I think Amazon should sponsor me. Amazon, if you want to sponsor me, call my line. Um, but yeah, so if you guys pick up anything, let me know. Let me know what your favorite item is. And if you guys pick up anything because of me, you know the hashtag. Asia made me buy it. So yeah, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to go edit this video for you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.